Okay, we continue to practice doing useful things with equilibrium constants and finding equilibrium constants. Here's a reaction that we can write an equilibrium constant for. It has sulfur trioxide. It's all gases, first of all, so we're going to count everything. We have sulfur trioxide as our only product, coefficient of 2, so we square it. We have sulfur dioxide, coefficient of 2, and, oops, sorry, not plus, <laughs> oxygen, coefficient of 1, so power of 1. Now, these numbers are meant to be concentrations, and so far we, they've been giving us concentrations, but that stops here. They tell us that this container has three moles, not moles per liter, of sulfur trioxide, and they tell us the volume of the container is half a liter. So when they do this, we are sad because we have to calculate the concentrations ourselves. Concentration is number of moles divided by volume. So for SO3, we have 3 moles divided by 0 0.5 liters equals 6 moles per liter. For sulfur dioxide, we have 2.25 moles divided by half a liter is 4.5 moles per liter, and for oxygen, they're really being vile. They didn't even give moles, they gave us a mass. So, whole other thing to do here. Number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass equals 100 grams divided by oxygen's molar mass is 32. That's going to be uh, 3.125 moles. So the concentration is 3.125 divided by 0 0.5 liters makes 6.25 moles per liter. Okay, these numbers 6, 4.5, and 6.25 are what we can put into our reaction ratio. So if we're at equilibrium, our Q gets renamed to KEQ, equilibrium constant. Sulfur trioxide is 6. Don't forget to square it. Sulfur dioxide is 4.5. Don't forget to square it. And oxygen is 6.25. No squaring necessary. We do calculator stuff with that. And I'm getting 0 0.2844444. for the equilibrium constant, which means it looks like I made a mistake with that number. I'll have to check that. But yeah, I've, I've thought about this and I'm confident that this is the way to do it. Three sig digs, three sig digs, four sig digs. So we're limited to three in the answer. So 0 0.284 should be our equilibrium constant. Quick note, I think this is in the lesson, but just to remind you, equilibrium constants don't have units, even though it looks like this should have units of like moles per liter to the minus one or something. Those units aren't meaningful and they're distracting, so we just leave them out and pretend that a K is just a dimensionless number.